What's going on guys, Brian Rabbit here. Last week, Analog announced the Analog 3D, a new FPGA-based reimagining of the Nintendo 64. And I'm pretty excited about it, but not for the reasons you may think. Look, I just am not in love with the N64. It had some great games that I adored when they were new, like Mario 64, GoldenEye, Ocarina of Time, Mario Golf, Wave Race 64, and others that ensured I'd never forget my time with the console. But over the years, it just seems to have aged faster and less gracefully in my eye than other consoles. A big reason for that was the hardware. Nintendo made some design decisions that may have made sense at the time, but don't work out in its favor today. Being cartridge-based when competing consoles were shipping games on optical media meant less storage for textures, music, speech, cutscenes, and the like. The oddly shaped controller was initially, it was revolutionary, but it wore out very quickly and was soon bested by superior designs like the PlayStation Dual Analog Controller. And the console itself added a very strange anti-aliasing blur filter over everything it output, which wasn't that noticeable on the consumer CRTs we were using in the 90s, but really looks rough on modern displays. But that's my experience, not yours. And if your favorite games are on the N64, if that was your primary game system in your formative years, you may have a lot more love for Nintendo's quirky N64 than I do, and that's great. And I think that Analog's new console, the Analog 3D, is gonna go a long way toward fixing some of the problems with playing the N64 in the modern day, and here's why. First of all, the video output. Analog claims that the 3D will output at 4K, have an option to remove the blur filter, but also allow you to add new CRT filters to the output. This is gonna help the N64 a ton. First of all, while 4K won't upres the polygons and the texture, it's not gonna make the graphics 4K, it's just going to provide a very sharp 4K output. It will help reduce lag on modern displays, many of which can add lag when converting a 1080p or lower resolution image to 4K. The 4K output also allows the CRT screen filters to look really good. Now, Analog has not shown any screenshots of what they're working on, but we can infer from work that has been done on the Mister, even the Analog Pocket or RetroTink products, that the potential results can be awesome. Analog having the finer resolution to work with at 4K means the potential of making some outstanding filters. And I'm not talking about those like cheesy scanline filters that ship with some lazily ported retro game products out there. I'm talking about 4K filters that convincingly emulate specific CRT TVs or monitors from the past. I use these on my retro tank and on my analog pocket, even on my mister, and I really like them. And I can't wait for like the 4K future. Analog also showed the controller that will accompany the system, and personally, I'm more excited about this than the console. I've never, ever found an N64 controller that I love. And I've tried a bunch, but the 8-bit Duke controller has me pretty hopeful. It looks like a Switch controller with only one analog stick and a face button layout that is kind of appropriate for N64 games. But I don't mind saying I'm a pretty big fan of the 8-bit Do controllers over the last few years. I have several controllers such as the M30, the N30, and the Pro 2 that have really become kind of my primary controllers for the Mister, the Analog Pocket, even the Steam Deck. So for a controller like the N64 that I just never loved, to get an 8-bit Do replacement is exciting. However, this assumes that A, the analog stick will be capable of truly emulating both the sensitivity and the range of motion of the N64's original design. That's something that has very rarely been done by anybody in the last 25 years. B, it needs to include an N64 controller port compatible receiver. The Analog 3D includes four N64 style controller ports as well as Bluetooth and 2.4G wireless support. If the 8-bit Do controller just works natively with the built-in wireless functionality of the 3D and does not include a wireless adapter that could be used on original hardware, that's gonna be a bummer for me 
You see, I already have a modded N64 console that includes both the option of removing the N64's anti-aliasing blur filter and has pristine RGB output. Combined currently with the RetroTink 5X and hopefully soon with the 4K, much of the functionality of the Analog 3D is already available to me. So for me, depending on price, I may or may not pick up the Analog 3D, I'm not sure yet. Comparing it to Analog's previous offerings like the Duo, the Mega SG, and the Super NT, I would expect it to be more expensive due to the theoretically more costly hardware included to output 3D graphics and 4K resolutions. But I am excited for what this product could mean for future products from Analog. Could we see an updated 4K version of the now discontinued Super NT or the Mega SG or even a Nintendo Entertainment System emulating MT? These are very enticing products for those who like to play cartridges but prefer new hardware with pristine outputs over the original hardware. And that to me is, it, you know, we're just living in a very exciting time to be a retro gamer. You have just a wealth of options and more coming in. Uh, I've been very happy with the Mister. I've been very ha happy with the Analog Pocket. You know, I can play my retro games on the go in a very pristine way with the Analog Pocket. I can play them on modern TVs with the Mister. We got the Mars FPGA coming soon, which promises more power than the Mister plus 4K output. And now we've got Analog with the 3D offering 4K output, and hopefully they'll include 4K output in their newer products. So it's just a really exciting time to be a retro gamer. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to checking out the Analog 3D. I don't know if I'm gonna pick one up for myself. I'm more excited about the controller from 8 bit uh, just because I already have like a really solid N64 solution, uh, and I'm already planning on picking up the RetroTank 4K. So that's gonna get me pretty close to uh, equal feature set that the uh, Analog 3D is planning. Although it's not gonna have internal solutions or the memory expansion included, uh, or I think they're even planning on having save states for the Analog 3D, which is really nice functionality. I use that quite a bit uh, on newer systems like the Switch. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>